Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Well, it is Friday Fragrance Review Day, guys. So you know it's going to be Friday Fragrance Review Night. It is time to review the fragrance that I wore for the entire week, which is another fragrance from real popular <laughs> this last couple of weeks, Bath & Body Works, guys. And this is one of their newest fragrances. Um, so I got to wear it this entire week and I absolutely loved it. It was beautiful. Um, anyway, let me go ahead and tell you guys what it is. I'll show you the products that I have in it. And then I will go into the notes, and you guys know how I do things if you've been here for a while. And for all the new subscribers tuning in, hey, welcome to the channel. All right. So this is the vanilla or, or orange vanilla twist. All right, guys. This is what the lotion looks like. Beautiful. I love that. I love the look of the um, ice cream. It looks perfect. It's just like a dreamy orange sickle like vanilla orange sickle it was beautiful and the scent the fragrance is amazing guys I love this if you guys like those um remember those popsicles that came out when we were kids they still have about now they're orange but then when you bite in the middle it's got like the vanilla ice cream in it that's exactly what this smells like it's so pretty guys I'm not a huge like citrus orange fan but this this fragrance turned me into an orange fan love it alright so this is the lotion to it obviously and then I also have the beautiful Fine Fragrance Mist here. I love the packaging for that. I think that's so pretty and it makes me hungry for ice cream. Oh, I love the scent, guys. It's so pretty. I love the packaging for this. Look at that bottle. And if you guys can tell, you can still see the fluid there. Um, and that's a pretty good indicator that this fragrance didn't take a whole lot and you could still smell it. So normally when my I buy or normally when I use a fragrance for the week it gets down under the line here you can't see it but this one didn't take a whole lot and you could still smell it the projection was really good I'll get into that in just a second though sorry guys I'm getting ahead of myself as always okay let's go ahead and get into the notes that are in this fragrance I will keep the fine fragrance mist here so you guys can see the star of the show <laughs> okay so the um, orange vanilla twist the notes are juicy orange summer summer sorbet and vanilla cream so if you guys like something that's um, ice creamy if you like things that smell like an ice cream shop this is gonna be your your fragrance because it's beautiful and I love the orange citrus in it I love it love it love it so so now that I got into the items that I have for the fragrance and the notes I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys obviously the best season to wear this fragrance is going to be the warmer months you know um, definitely spring summertime but I don't know it's got the vanilla in there so I think if you wanted you could go all four seasons with this fragrance I think it's a good all year round fragrance um, it's got the citrus in there that would remind me a lot of like Christmas time you know December and stuff like that because a lot of their fragrances that they have in December have a lot of like berry and citrus in them so this would be a nice one in December too if you wanted to do that but I think this one is a nice all year round fragrance the fragrance lasting hours on this guys, I'm not even kidding, it's about six hours performer before you would have to reapply anything, you get about six hours longevity on it. And as far as the projection, it's pretty moderate. Um, it's not going to like give anybody a cough or make anybody nauseated, but it will definitely be noticed. I got a couple compliments this week when I was wearing this fragrance, both from customers as well as um, co-workers. It's a really good one, so if you guys like the orange citrus. Or, you're, or something like that and you want to try one of these but you're kind of scared I would say definitely go in and buy this it's actually I think it would be a good blind buy if you like orange and citrus and vanilla mixed in it's beautiful guys I'm telling you it smells just like that orange dreamsicle it's so pretty guys I love it a lot um so like I said the uh, fragrance projection is moderate that's why I didn't have to use a whole lot of this because it will stay on your skin as well as your clothes for quite some time Best time to wear this fragrance. I wore this fragrance the entire week. Um, a lot of my shifts are more t more towards like evening and stuff like that. So evening, daytime wear is really good for this fragrance. So whatever you want to do with it, I would wear it during the nighttime or the daytime. I just I I just love the orange dream circle. I don't think um, I think any time of day is perfect for it. It's beautiful, guys, and the sprayer on it. I love that sprayer. It's so nice. It's a beautiful mist. Oh my god. Oh, that stuff is 
it's so pretty and guys this thing lasts a long time it is a beast mode performer I've seen other people's review on this fragrance and they say that it lasts a long time and I can also vouch for that because it really really does six hours longevity that's really good for a body mist guys so my conclusion for this fragrance as far as the packaging I'm gonna go ahead and give the packaging an eight and a half out of ten I love the packaging and definitely the packaging shows you what the scent is inside the bottle it's beautiful um, it's very self-explanatory. If this is what you guys are trying to go for, this is what you're going to get out of this bottle. It's beautiful, guys. The juice inside is amazing. It's just so gourmand and so sexy. I think it's sexy, at least. I love it. Um, it's a very edible-smelling fragrance. Um, and as far as the longevity and performance, it is definitely going to be getting an 8.5 out of 10 in my book. I love it a lot. This is definitely a, another, another fragrance I would repurchase. Um... I would definitely repurchase this fragrance, but I think it's gone now, so unfortunately I will be missing out of that, but it is definitely one that I would repurchase again. So that is my fragrance review for the Bath & Body Works Orange Vanilla Twist. I hope you guys like that review. If you guys are on the fence on it, I can definitely tell you guys it is a really good fragrance. So I would just say, if you're not 100% sure, I just say go ahead and buy it. If you don't like it, you can always exchange it. They have an amazing exchange policy item for item so if you're not a big fan of it you can exchange it for something that you like but I love this one guys all right so <clears throat> next week's fragrance is going to be a fragrance that I've chosen because the last couple weeks we've been doing nothing but Bath and Body Works we haven't had a lot of perfumes and stuff like that so the fragrance that I, I chose this fragrance coming up that I'm gonna show you guys because I wanted to use this fragrance I've been wanting to use this fragrance but every time I would have one of my co-workers vote on a fragrance that <laughs> for some reason no one wanted to pick this or got low marks. But the fragrance is amazing and I'm happy to be trying it. So the next fragrance that I'm going to be doing next week, you guys will see my review for it for Friday, will be on the Katmandi's Saint. This is what the box looks like, guys. And then this is what the perfume looks like. Are you ready? The perfume is absolutely amazing. It's beautiful. I love the packaging. This is what the perfume bottle looks like. So this is going to be the one that I will review next week. So if you guys are interested to know what my thoughts are on the Kat Von D um, fragrance, please stay tuned. Um, if you guys want to know what my thoughts were on the Kat Von D Sinner, because I, uh, I do have that up too, you guys can look through my older videos and find it because it is posted up on my YouTube channel. So if you want to know my thoughts on Sinner, it's there. Next week you will know my thoughts on Saint. And I'm super, super excited to do this um, fragrance, guys. So, I hope you guys like the fragrance review. As, as always, please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.